Hey everyone, it's The Detective back again with another Bakugan Gioga Rising review, and today I'm going to be opening up and unboxing and reviewing the Chaos Mutasect single pack. I actually reviewed the Darkest Mutasect in the Brawler pack a couple of days ago, but I got the Chaos version here and I'm pretty excited. This is my first Chaos Geogon and I'm really excited because... I know I keep saying excited, but I really am. You can just see all that translucent blue plastic. It looks fantastic. You can see the little art for me to sect over here. The other Geogon in the wave, Arcleon, Viperagon, Sluggler, Surturan, Stardox, Mutasect, and Diamond Sluggler. Anyway though, I'm just gonna get this guy out of the box and let's take a look at what we get inside, starting with the Geogon itself. So here is Mutasect, and of course it kind of has this really cool egg shape. You can see the arms, and again, like I said earlier, just seeing all this translucent kind of teal, azure plastic, it's it's really, really good looking. I absolutely love it, and uh, you can see the little spot right there where you're supposed to drop it. Just to compare it to a standard Chaos Bakugan here is Pinsitar, and you can see that in terms of the diameter, I guess like the circular diameter of it is about the same as a Bakugan, but when it comes to the ovular diameter, it's uh, definitely quite extended. It's like if he took a standard Bakugan and just stretched it out a little bit. Uh, <laughs> very, very cool though. Let's actually drop this guy out onto the gate trainer and let's take a look at how he unfolds. So of course we're gonna have just a single card length above, line up the Geogun like so. And there he is. So Mutasect is quite a tall Geogon. Definitely very, very tall compared to Sluggler, who I reviewed in the last Geogon single pack opening. I think he might even be the tallest of the first wave Geogon. However, in the future, based on the other Geogon we've seen on the tech on the checklist and in some various leaks, I don't think that he will remain the tallest Geogon, but we'll have to see. Nonetheless, you can see the insectoid kind of looking face on him with the big bug eyes. Definitely looks like a bug. However, he's got these weird arms for some reason. I'm not totally sure why because they look almost humanoid. Just the translucent plastic on this guy really does it for me. Overall, it looks really, really good. So of course, you can see he's standing on a gate trainer. So let's take a look at that first and then we'll delve into the cards. Just gonna remove him here. And as you can see, it has Centipod on it. But now for the exciting part, the cards. And I haven't looked at these yet. I have not looked at the effect. I haven't watched any reviews of anyone actually opening up Mutasect here. So I don't know what either of the cards he comes with uh, what they do. I just put them face down when I took them out, so I'm really excited. Let's flip up the first one right now. And it's the Mutasect card. Ooh. Whoa, okay. One cost. I literally just mentioned in my Sluggler review how I hadn't seen any one cost Geogons, but hey, here they, here it is. Here's a one cost Geogon. There's probably like a couple other definitely coming in the future or perhaps out now as well. I just don't have them, but that is, it's it's just really cool to see that one cost Geogon. You guys already know I love the art. You know, you can, I guess I can kind of see where he gets the humanoid fingers from now, or the humanoid uh, arms from now that we have this picture of him, but 800 B power, uh, six damage, and then plus three frost on a green fist. This is definitely a very, very cool card, and I can definitely see people using this, and I hope that we get more one cost Geogon in the future. Anyway, though, the next card here, oh, okay. This card was actually in the Sharktar starter deck, I believe. We have Silk Bolt Barrier for five plus 900 B power, and you get to scan, which is pretty cool. So guys, that basically wraps it up for my review on the Chaos Mutasect single pack. Definitely very excited to test this out considering that he is a one cost Geogon. I'm very excited to test this guy out. If you have had experience actually testing out Geogon, I really would be curious. So please let me know in the, in the comment section because I would really want to know, you know, which Geogon are generally good, which ones are generally bad. Anyway though guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.